Welcome back, another month, another release of Arm 3 dm Now this one is pretty crazy. Firstly, we have support for Blender 3.6 LTS. Now obviously, Blender has an LTS version, long-term support, which is great for people who are developing add-ons and who have a, a long workload that needs to be stable or people who are using Arm 3 d because Arm 3 d requires you to use LTS or more like heavily, heavily suggests you do so because if not, you might have issues uh, that you wouldn't if you had a DLTS version. So we have support for that and we also have a brand new physics debugging system. Now previously debugging physics inside of ARM3D wasn't really even possible. Until now, we have now support for drawing all sorts of physics uh, to debug uh, whatever your problem may be or if there is such a problem. You can see what's going on behind the scenes in your physics uh, directly by activating the different options that you want to look for, for example contact points or constraints or looking at the uh, collision meshes uh, in wireframe view of your physics objects in your scenes, all really cool, all great to debug uh, and figure out what's going on with the physics in your project. We also have support now for uh, controlling our Blender uh, image scaling quality directly in the Blender UI. So previously, if you wanted to control uh, your canvas, your Armory 2D editor, you had to go into the Armory 2D editor. Now we can control it uh, from, what. Well, at least the quality from the Blender UI so you can activate low or high quality in the Armory project settings. Now also we have a bunch of uh, changes behind the scenes, we have many bug fixes but we also have a complete overhaul of the soft body physics system uh, which is just great because physics system used to be a bit unstable inside of Arm3D, now it's uh, completely overhauled, it should be working perfectly fine and if you go check it out you might be able to make some pretty cool squishy stuff. We also have an update to the set visibility node with a recursive option that allows you to make any object that's parented to your main object invisible as well. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next month for next month's release notes video. See you then.